Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boys and Grove, and today we're going to show you how to make a mini trebuchet. Let's get into it. There are a lot of plans for these online. I did print one off for measurement's sake, but I'm not actually going to build this design. I want to do my own thing, but I will leave a link to this down in the description below. For this project, I'm going to use some 3 quarter inch pine scraps that I had in the shop. I'm going to cut them down to an inch wide and then cut them down to the proper lengths. I want to assemble the base using half lap joints, so I'm using my table saw to cut the rabbits and the base pieces. Now I wanted to do something a little different with this assembly rather than using screws or something, so I decided to use dowels. I wanted the swinging arm to have a taper on it, so to do that I built a temporary taper cutting jig with a piece of 3 quarter inch scrap plywood and a couple hold down clamps. I decided I wanted to add wheels to my trebuchet, so to do this I used a hole saw bit in my drill press. I made sure to add some wax to the dowels that I was using for the wheel axles so they'll make sure to roll nice and smooth. For the swinging arm, I decided to use a piece of quarter inch aluminum dowel that I found in the shop. I cut some quarter inch thick strips to use for the base. While Christina was putting a coat of stain on the trebuchet, I started to work on a box for the weight. 
You can use any heavy object for your weight, but I decided to build a box so that I can change the weight as I saw fit. To attach the box, I used some crafting wire that I made sure to double up. For the sling, I used a scrap piece of leather and a couple pieces of twine. there you have it, a mini trebuchet. It was a lot of fun to build, but there was a big learning curve and a lot of trial and error just to get the balance right and the size right of exactly how I wanted it. Even with the plans, there was a lot of things that I had to try to figure out. And I did have to cheat and use the nail gun a couple times just to hold pieces in place while I put the dowels in. Um, a few things that I will change or do differently Number one is this box, the weight box I made way too big so it actually hits the arm sometimes when it's swinging so that it won't get a full swing. So I'll just untwist the wire, take this off and replace it with something a little bit smaller. Also on the end over here with the sling, I tried to be cool and overcomplicate it and make it something different but when it all comes down to it, stick with what works. You want one single string permanently attached and the other end, you want a large loop put over a bent nail or something smooth that it can easily release. And that's it. That's how it's going to work. Don't try to make it something else like I did. All in all, really fun woodworking project and a lot of fun to play with. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. We have lots of other projects on our channel, so make sure to check them out, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And we would love to hear what you thought of this project in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching, be safe, and have a great day.